Hi everyone, I'm joined by Mark this afternoon. Hello Mark. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Mark, I've got a, a, a customer who has got a fleet of vans that they use to deliver um, their products and they want to be able to schedule um, the deliveries from Tharston and get some feedback into Tharston about, you know, proof of delivery, that kind of thing. Okay. Can you uh, talk to me about that? I know we've got an integration with um, Big Change Apps Job Watch. So if, if you can give me a bit more information, that'd be great. Of course. Would you like would you like me to show you? Yeah, actually, showing would be a really good idea rather than just talking about it. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Now let me share my screen. Yeah, so um, I've already got a delivery note created here in this view, uh, the one that's highlighted at the top of the list. I've identified that when I'm delivering, when I'm making this delivery, what which service I'm going to use, and in this case, it's it's my it, I've got a, a service called My Own Van, and that's ultimately linked, as you mentioned, into the Job Watch product from from Big Change. Um, what I get the opportunity to do at this point is to simply request a label, and that's the that's the sort of the trigger to send the delivery information into job watch uh, so very very simple um, when i close the list down we can see that there's a consignment number that's already been sent back to us by job watch i go into job watch which is a web based a web based product we can see that um, i've got a list of unscheduled jobs this is the one that i've just thrown in there actually it's you know it's, it's instantaneously sort of created um, it identifies the delivery address um, on the delivery note, and and we can see in the in the main part of the interface we've got a, a schedule for a driver. Now, of course, you know in my database I've only got one driver, but you can have multiple drivers in here. Um, I've defined Monday as being the the date that I want to schedule um, the job for, but I can of, of course I get I can navigate through different days of the week, um, and and ultimately. I'm able just to drag and drop the job onto the schedule. OK, so what feedback do we get into Tharston um, once the job has been scheduled? Yeah, so at different stages of the of the life cycle of the job, we will get updates. So uh, as you rightly mentioned, the job has been scheduled now in Big Change. If I come back to the Tharston delivery list and I update the status, we can see that the that, that you know it's sort of matching like for like what the status is currently inside job watch okay and um what other touch points do we get along the way so the job, it, yeah so job watch is a you know it's a really cool product um and uh the the idea is is that of course the the, the driver now knows where he or she is going on monday um we can see that the, the the drive time the chevrons sort of reflect the drive time that, that I've got to, to get myself down to, to, to deliver the. Um, and then using uh, the option here to view. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of doing this a little bit more manually than a, than a driver would because the driver mm -hmm. would be using an app and they would have this information on their app. But what we can see here in this manual kind of more manual job card is, that is of course, the information about the delivery address, who the contact is. Uh, we can see the job number and the quantity and the, and the title of the job and, and the weight that the that, that the person has calculated associated to that job. We can also in the uh, and there's, I'm sure there's lots of other features in here as well, but in the but the, but but mainly from a uh, a tracking perspective, um, I can come in here and manually, and this is very manual at the moment, say that that job has now been started. Now the reality is, is that this information will be fed back directly from your by your driver via the via his app, um, but that already will send information back into fast. So if I come in here and do an update status, you can see the status is there set. As started. And then likewise, when we get when when we get uh, the physical um, the job sort of handed over, if you like. Um, then we'll, we'll, we're able to, to, to get a completed status. Again, I'm doing it very manually in this in this instance. I'm not able to anywhere sign for this item, whereas of course on the app, 
there would be a mm -hmm. signature associated to this. So I'm just literally manually capturing the fact that this this delivery has been completed. So again, if I save it, I've just remembered that I'd scheduled the job to be delivered on Monday, uh, not on <laughs> not today. And so I'm just sort of changing the date there just because it didn't accept it. And again, coming back into Tharston, we'll see that the status has updated to a point of completed. Uh, if I look, if I open up the delivery note um, and go to the delivery instructions, we would see in here um, the, CERN, uh, the the name of the person that had signed for it, a typed in name of a person that had signed for it. Here okay. I can see the date and the time. And also, again, I don't get this element because I don't have this, I don't have the app, but in the attachments area, the delivery note, we'd get an image of the signature that had been applied on that on that sign on glass uh, device that the driver gave to the to the you know to the recipient of the goods. Brilliant. So it's really comprehensive. So are there some options um, for COVID friendly deliveries as well? Because that's really relevant, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, it is. So I, I think everybody's scared of um, using a device handed over by a driver. So yeah. there is, um, and it would be worth sort of uh, having a more detailed conversation with the guys at Big Change about this, but they do have a touch-free uh, signature option where effectively they send an electronic um, signature request to the customer and then the customer signs it and that electronically gets sent back into Big Change Job Watch, but ultimately uh -huh. would, would come back into would come back into Tharson. So a nice option to have. Definitely. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Really yes. good. So presumably we've got the integration with Big Change, um, but there are other options for customers. Um, so, you know, we obviously have our API, which we use for that integration. So presumably um, customers who perhaps are using other um, bits of software or want to write their own integrations can use our API. Absolutely fine. It's, it's a perfect it's a perfect example of its use, really, Mary. We've come across uh, several products. We already integrate to uh, to two parcel companies, uh, UPS and FedEx. So we've got sort of directly written links specifically for them. We're um, about to, we're due to launch uh, an integration into a third party middleware product called EasyPost um, that will, that already understands the integrations required for lots and lots of careers. Um, but of course, you know, if um, if you if, if, if as a customer you're already using a product, we have some that are using uh, one that one that comes to mind is a product called DTrack. They're using uh -huh. that, and so they would, you know, as long as the product that you're using has a reciprocal API, that work you could you would have to undertake that work yourself. Join the two together. It's it's you know it's what we've it's how we've connected uh, Fasten to Big Change. Excellent. And in terms of a really rough and ready option for customers that perhaps don't have a lot of money to spend, but really need to get some information back into Tharston um, in a less finessed, elegant way, um, what are the options perhaps using IDC? Yeah, so I think I think IDC could could be a, a perfectly workable solution. Um, I'm not sure if, if it's rough and ready, you know, dirty solution. <laughs> it's quite it's quite a nice one, I think. Uh -huh. um, the idea is is the um, is the the operator, the driver, would have uh, a mobile device. They would have some kind of connectivity into your into your network. They would log on to IDC as if they were starting a a production process. So they would say, "I'm starting my journey." They could tell the system that they finished their journey. Um, they could take a photo of the goods at the front door. They could take a photo of the signature and attach those images back to the job. And that all comes back in, you know, directly into Tharston. So it's it's really it's not a bad solution at all. No, that sounds good. I mean, it's clearly not going to interact with the delivery note, but you are going right. to have absolute proof that it's been delivered of and a copy of the delivery note. Yes, That's agree. great. So there's some really lovely options there. Thank you, Mark. That's all right. Um, that's great. Lovely talking to you and uh, speak again soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers, Mark. Thanks.